Today's film is William Maroney's 16mm 80s black comedy classic, Little Cory Gory. The story of, well, Little Cory Gory. The film stars creepy little Michael J. Fox in training, Todd Fortune. I'm not creepy. Whoa, sorry dude. Anyways, not only is Cory cursed but one of the worst fucking names a parent could bestow on a kid. He was also the victim of a tragic car accident which killed his loving father and left him with a scar that would send Tony Montana running for the hills. As a result, the poor little fuck is forced to live with his fat, alcoholic stepmother, played ever so gracefully by Pat Gallagher. Corey, where the hell is my TV remote? Originally, the role was going to be played by John Waters' cohort and meat smuggler Divine. But unfortunately, Divine died the night before he was supposed to sign the contract. True story. Corey also lives with his equally asshole stepbrother, aptly named Biff, a cocky cokehead who in his free time enjoys playing with the local kids. <laughs> These two are seriously fucked up. When the two aren't busy no. bossing the poor little shit around, they like to play fun family games like hang Corey from a curtain rod and throw beer cans at him. These two make the wicked stepsisters in Cinderella look like the fucking Jonas Brothers. Comfy? While in school, Corey falls for super bitch Jackie, who doesn't give our pint-sized hero the time of day. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to look at your legs. So what happened to your face? Um, I was in a car accident. In an attempt to win her over, he breaks into her house and leaves her an Aussie ticket. That's right, to impress the girl he likes, he breaks into her fucking house and leaves her a fucking Aussie ticket. Fucking genius. Well that, and he uses the opportunity to raid her panty drawer. So Corey gears up for his big date at the Aussie show, sock in tow, until he realizes his awesome brother Biff stole his ticket. Fuck! God damn it! And I mean seriously, what's up with the sock thing? Sure it makes your dick look bigger and all, but when your date discovers that you're packing a couple pieces of stinky wadded up cotton in your pants, trust me, you ain't gonna get much action. So when Biff gets back from the Aussie show, he tells Corey all about the great time he had. Psst, Corey. Uh, Come on, wake up, you little dweeb. Get the fuck out of my bed. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot for the great seat at the Aussie concert. That's right, man. Thanks for the ticket, sucker. You know, Jackie, she sure was hot. I got her so stoned and turned on by the concert, man, she let me feel her all over. What? And after the concert, I plowed the shit out of her in a gas station toilet till she screamed. Fuck, man, this kid can't get a break. The whole I fucked your girlfriend speech worked pretty fucking well. Cause the next thing you know, Corey goes all ape shit and pushes Biff through the sliding glass door of the shower, which accidentally dismembers his rubber arm. Corey, give me your hand. Okay. Ah! Faced with this dilemma, Corey does what any abused repressed kid of the 80s would do. He chops him up and puts him in the deep freezer. He also hogties his stepmother to the couch, depriving her of her precious beer and beef jerky. Give me a beer! A beer! That's what I need is a beer! So now Corey is living the good life. He moves into Biff's room, which you can tell because his name is written on the wall, and Corey celebrates by getting down to some sweet thrash metal while wearing a pair of panties on his head. Then Jackie comes over and breaks up his little panty party, which forces Corey to let her in on his deeds. I don't believe it. It was an accident. I didn't mean for it to happen. So where's the... Where's he now? I put him in the freezer. Oh, oh God, sitting next to the steaks. Well, I didn't want him to go bad. She then moves in so she can find the stash of coke Biff told her he was holding, all the while leading poor little Corey on. What are you doing? Hi. Corey, I 
I can't do this. Why not? Don't you like me? Yes. It's just they can't do this. Why not? Because I want my first time to be special. But what about Biff? What about Biff? He told me you and him after the concert? He told me he had a pound of Coke. So you and him never... I never, ever. Then you're, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. That's OK. I just want my first time to be special. You know what I mean? Yeah, me too. You think you can wait? Yeah. We'll take the money and we'll run away. We'll go somewhere romantic, like a hotel room. She has Corey so wrapped around her finger, the guy fucking brings her breakfast in bed. Ugh. I've got to take a shower, and then we got to find that pound. What about breakfast? You eat it. Things get more complicated, though, when Biff's dealer shows up in search of the money Biff owes him. And where's Biff? I fronted him an eight ball, and now I want my cash. You hear that? I'll tell you what. You tell Biff I'll be back Saturday. And if he doesn't have my cash, you're all history. So Corey and Jackie decide to throw a party to raise the cash, and things seem to be going pretty well. Till Jackie runs off with some white snake wannabe and all the money, leaving Corey to deal with the pissed off dealer. Jackie! Where are you going? With him! But you're my day tonight! Oh, Corey, get a graph on reality. What makes you think you stand a chance with me, you wimpy scarred freshman? But what about the money? How about the money? Jeez! Jeez! What about the money? God! I can't really go too much further without ruining the ending, but let's just say Corey gets his revenge. The film also has one of the best twist endings ever. It would totally give M. Night Shyamalan a run for his money. It's the type of ending that makes you want to stand up and cheer. Overall, Little Corey Gory is a great B film that deserves more recognition. It's available in a severely butchered version on several of the Brentwood compilation packs, but I recommend you check out the Gore Soap Director's Cut, available for a mere $2.50 at William Maroney's site, littlecorygory.com. Also be sure to check out my interview with William Maroney at our website, bmoviedumpster.com. Well, that's it for tonight's show. You asshole! God damn it, motherfucker, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass! Sorry, Corey. That's all the time we have. We'll see you next time at the B-Movie Dumpster. Fucking asshole!